Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an e-commerce landing page, but this time we're going to be using the latest DV feature, the Global Default Editor. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a template, which is going to be a design that we're going to be using throughout our website for our products. So before we begin, I also would like to remind you that if you buy DV using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my DV Blueprint course. It teaches you everything that you need to know about designing professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you here is just the uh, the global template that I've been working on. And if you also, if you're a VIP member on funnelstoincome.com, you will also get this absolutely free because I'll be... Um, giving it to the VIP members. So what I've done here is I've created my headings, the sizes, my uh, paragraph text, and over here, I've also have this image. I've just made a subtle uh, hover effect here. I've also got a button, which also has a hover color and a subtle uh, hover as well. Over here, I have my blurb. I have my call to action. Now this is still work in progress. I am going to be adding as many modules as I can just to make this a complete template. Now over here, I also have uh, this um, FAQ area. So as you can see, I've added my colors here. And then finally, over here, we have the uh, testimonial. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build the e-commerce uh, default design, which we're going to be using throughout our whole website. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm going to enable the visual builder here. And then we're going to add a new row and in that row we're going to add all our elements okay so i'm going to start over here by adding a brand new row click this plus button and then i'm just going to add single column and what we need here is the shop module okay i'm going to go ahead and select it right so what we're going to do now as you can see uh this comes in by default the uh, the text here is off the size, everything is not pretty much um, how we want it. So let's go ahead and make some customizations here. Now to make things easier here, all I have to do is to click on this brush tool and this will take me directly to where I need to make my changes to. So I'm gonna click over here. Now I can start working on my text. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play around with this and see which one is better. Uh, so I think Montserrat is gonna be fine for my text here, but I'm gonna make it bold because I really want my product to really stand out. Okay, so let's come over here and adjust the size. So let's make this slightly bigger. Uh, now 20, I think, I think 20 works okay. And for the colors, let's see. I'm gonna go with this color right here. In fact, we've overused this color throughout. Let's just try something different. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go with this one here. Okay, so that's fine. Next, I'm also going to adjust my price here. So I'm gonna click on the brush tool as well. And then I'm going to see which font I can use and the colors. So I'll go with this bright orange here. And for my price, I'm gonna go with Poppins. And then I'm also gonna make it slightly bigger. So let's just go ahead and just make it nice and big. So let's go with 24. I may need to come back here on um, my description uh, or my product, then make this slightly bigger. Okay, so while we're here on Poppins, let's make it nice and bold. So our price is easy to see. And then over here, I'm also gonna make this slightly bigger. Okay, so let's go with 20, 26. So this is a matter of just playing around with uh, all the sizes just to see what works for you. So I'm just uh, bringing, bringing this down to about 22 again. Okay, so I think I'm really happy with this. I'm not sure about this color though, because it really looks off. So I may need to go back in and just change it to, uh, to this color here. I think that's looking much better. Okay, so with that done, let's move on to the next thing. So ideally what I'd like here is to make sure all my products are all branded. So I'm gonna come over here now and uh, work on my border. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool and my border width here is set to zero. So I'm just gonna add my border width. Now I'm going to add my color. So I'm just gonna come over here and make it very, very subtle. As you can see, this is a slightly dark gray. So I'm just gonna bring this down up to about there. I think this is okay. Right, so the next thing is I want to work on the sale icon here, the sale color. So I'm gonna click here on this little brush tool. 
So this now has taken me to the badge. So let's start playing around with the colors here for the badge. So I'm going to go with this color here for my badge. And then my font, I'm going to change this to, let's see what works, Poppins or Monster Rat. Let's see. Um, I think I'll go with Monster Rat. And then over here, I'm going to make it bold because we really want people to see that this is a sale going on. Okay, so now that we've got that in place, let's work on the size. So I'm just gonna bring it down to about 18 because we don't want this covering really, you know, majority of the image here. So that's looking nice. I think I'm happy with that. Now, if we need to add a few, uh, a few more um, items here, you can come to the filters, play around with the colors if you need to. But you know what, in my case, I'm just gonna leave this as it is. So as you can see, I've gone in and I've customized all this now. So this is all ready to go. Right, so the next stage now is to make this as a global item. So I'm gonna click on these three little dots here and then I'm gonna say, make styles default. Okay, it's gonna ask me if I'm sure I need to do that. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so all my styles are now default. That's looking great. So uh, later on, we can always come back and uh, make some adjustments to it if something is off. But for now, we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna save this. Now I'm gonna open a brand new page and start working on our landing page. In fact, let me save my changes first because I wanna make sure that I don't lose any of my work. All right, so now I'm in my admin dashboard. Let's create our landing page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and click on add new. So my landing page is going to be called my main shop. Okay, so I think I'm cool with that. So let's go ahead now and click on use the Divi Builder. And now we're gonna start working on our page. So I'm gonna build this from scratch. And then the first thing I'm gonna do, in fact, before I continue, do you see that uh, my global defaults now are taking, uh, taking effect? On top here, we have 120, and then on the bottom here, I have 80 for all my sections. But in fact, what we need here is a full width header. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose select, full width header, right. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to start adding all our content in. So I'm gonna start with my description text. So I'm gonna paste it in here. Next, we're gonna come over here to the button. So in fact, the button can just be a uh, click here, that's fine. Uh, and for our title, I'm just thinking of something here. So I'm just gonna say dresses for all occasions. So now we need to go in and customize all this. Now, because this is going to be used once, I won't even bother by making it a global item. So I'm just gonna make all my settings once and that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here to this brush tool and then we're gonna start with our text. Change this to Poppins. We're gonna make this light, make it nice and big. Then we're gonna come over here to this paragraph text. So same thing, we're gonna change our font to Monster Rat. Set this to 18. I'm gonna come over here to the button and then the same thing, I'm gonna yeah, activate my custom styles for button and then we're gonna add a button color. So uh, the color I'm gonna go with is, in fact, this needs to be white because this is the text color. And then I'm gonna come over here and add my button background color. So we have this border here. So let's get rid of the border by just dragging that. And now I'm gonna get rid of the border radius as well because that will match with all the buttons that I have on my site. All right, so moving on. So I'm gonna go to the button font and I'm gonna choose pop-ins for this. And we might need to increase the, uh, the size a little bit, maybe to about 24. Okay, so this is taking shape. I'm pretty much happy with that, to be honest. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna delete this top uh, section here. Now, I am going to make this full width. So I'm gonna click this plus button, click on design, layout, and then we're gonna make this full screen. All right, so what we need to do now is to add a background image onto our design. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon, come straight over here to background, so we don't need this, I'm just gonna delete that. And then I'm gonna start here with my image. So I'm gonna click the third tab, click this plus button, and here is my image. I already have my image here added in my media library, but in your case, you would need to navigate to uh, where it is on your computer. So now I'm gonna click upload an image. And as you can see, we have this gorgeous image here in our design. Now, this text here is not easy to read, so we, ne we need to fix that. So I'm gonna come over here and let's add a gradient on the left side. So I'm gonna click this plus button and um, add my first color. 
Okay, so right now we, we don't see anything, but if you wanna see this in real time, what you need to do is to place this gradient above the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But of course, we need to make sure that the second color here is set to transparent. There we go. Now we need to adjust the angle of this. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna bring it over all the way over here. So I would say around about uh, 96 is fine. Now, this color that we have here, I'm just gonna make it darker like that. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. I may need to make some adjustments here on the end point to make sure that our model here is still visible. So I think that looks okay. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna make this a bit darker as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some adjustments to this text because as you can see, it's just stretching all the way to the end. So let's fix that. I'm gonna come over here to design. Then we need to come over here to sizing. So our content width, we're gonna reduce that. So you can see here as I'm bringing it down to about 50%, it's getting smaller. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with that. I may need to come back in here and make some, some changes as well. In fact, we might as well do it now. Uh, let's make this a bit bold. Okay, so I think bold will work for this. Make this nice and big. Right, so I think I'm pretty much done with this. It's easier now to read and our colors are actually matching. Now, it's time to add our product. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, add a regular section. And uh, here we're gonna have a single column. And in that column, we're gonna have some text. Okay, so here we're gonna say latest products or latest dresses. Okay, let's assign heading four to this. Now notice what happens. Now it's taken on the color and also the size from my default template over here. So let's continue. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a line that separates this. So I'm gonna click here on design and then I'm gonna come over here to border. I'm gonna add a bottom border, set it to one. And then I'm gonna just mess around with the color here. Just make sure that it's very light. We don't want it too dark. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Next, we are going to come over here and uh, add another row. So I'm gonna click this plus button, single column. This time we're gonna add our shop, our shop module. I'm gonna select it. Great, so as you can see, it's coming now with all my settings that I did earlier on. Even here, the sale icon has all my colors looking great. So the next stage now is to just go in quickly, add my products, and then we're gonna come back here and take a look at this design. So I'm just gonna save this, and then I'm going to open a new tab and add my products. So before we do anything, let's make sure we save. Now, if you're wondering where, how I'm adding all these products, I've already gone ahead and installed WooCommerce. It's a free plugin, so you can just go ahead and search for it. In fact, let me go to my dashboard and I can show you quickly how you can add WooCommerce. So all you need to do is to come over here to plugins, click on add new, and then you want to search for it. So there we go, WooCommerce. Once you type WooCommerce, this is the first one that comes in and you can see here it's set to active. I won't need to do anything here because it's already installed. All right, so now let's add our products. So to add products, you just need to come over here to products and click on add new. So let's start with our first product. So I'm just gonna say dress one. So I'm just gonna give this uh, basic names, but of course in your case, you need to give these products proper names. So I'm gonna say uh, dress one. And then over here, we're gonna give this a price. So this is gonna be 399 and the sale price is 279. Okay, and this is set to a simple product. Now let's add a product image over here. So I'm gonna start with this one here, set product image. So for my categories here, I'm gonna add a brand new category and I'm just gonna call this latest. Because what happens is every time I add all my products, I can actually group them in the latest products. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on, in fact, before I publish, I need to add some descriptions here. So I'm gonna add my description. And then over here, I need to add a short description as well. Okay, great. And then over here, I just wanna make sure I don't have the right sidebar. I don't really need that. So I'm gonna say no sidebar. And I think I have everything that I need here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so you can just follow the steps that I've done here to add two more products because all we need for our front area there is just four products. So I've gone ahead and added all my products. So this is what it looks like. So these are just four dresses. So now let's further customize this. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is to add a new section. So I'm gonna click this plus button, click on regular. 
and I'm gonna have a two thirds, one third here. So what I'm gonna have on my left side is a testimonial. So I'm gonna search for my testimonial module. And as you can see, it's brought in my design as well, which is, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an image in here. So I'm just gonna use something that I have already. So I'm just gonna scroll through in my media library and just look for a lady that we can use for our testimonial. All right, so let's go with, uh, let's go with her. Upload an image. So there you go, we have the image in there. That's looking great. And then I'm gonna save. Next, I'm gonna add a background color to this, but uh, I'm just gonna make it very subtle for now. So I'm gonna click here from background. So I may need to come back and make some changes to it. So this is where you can just play around with, uh, you know, with different colors. So I think this will work fine. I'm gonna save this. Over here, ideally I'd like to uh, add a video, which pretty much uh, gives uh, some context to these type of dresses here. Okay, so I'm gonna search for my video module. I'm gonna select it. Okay, so here, the first thing I'm gonna do is to add an image overlay. So let me go with this image here. Right, so next I'm gonna come over here to design, play icon. Now, do you see how this video um, could have been done better if I'd made some default settings? So in fact, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna come over here to uh, icon size. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller and I'm pretty much happy with my color. So to make this a global item, I'm gonna click here and just click on make styles default. Great, so next time I need to uh, add a video, I don't need to stress about coming over here into my icon, making it the right size and adding my, my uh, overlay. Okay, so I think that section is good to go. Pretty much my page is complete. So I'm gonna save and exit the visual builder. So this is our final landing page. And again, as you can see, I've used my global default editor to make things easier for me. So most of the job is done earlier on, making sure that all your modules are all set. But after that, it's gonna make it very, very easy for you to add all your modules. And in fact, even for the, uh, for the shop module, you can also add um, any other products on there. They will just take on the um, initial designs that, you might, that you've added on there. All right, guys, this is all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.